Hello, good people. This is Ashley and uh, I'm going to review a philosophy course for you today, so I thought it would be nice for you to look at The School of Athens by Raphael before we get started. You've seen it. Now let's get started. I'm reviewing Philosophy 103, Moral and Political Philosophy, offered by Sailor.org. One weird thing that I noticed right away compared to other MOOCs is that this isn't sponsored by a university. So whoever put this together, uh, they drew on some video lectures and also classical texts, but it's not sponsored by one university. One other interesting thing is that we look at the course syllabus here, we will notice that there's actually no outlined way of working through the course. So they do suggest that you go in order with the subunits, but they don't have a reading suggestion. They kind of leave it up to the student. And they say that the average student will take 104 hours to complete this course. So the way that I'm evaluating this course is by using the Blackboard Exemplary Course ru Program Rubric. Um, and I'll just run through some of these items here and give you my score, my thoughts about whether the course ranks as exemplary, accomplished, promising, or incomplete. So one thing I have to say about the course overall, if I had to rank it overall, uh, it's actually quite hard to do and I think it depends on the sort of student. So because there is so little guidance here, I think that a self-starting student could rank this class as exemplary because they have a bunch of freedom to do the course however they want. Um, but I think that students who might want a little bit more guidance would actually find this course to be maybe promising or perhaps even incomplete. So I'm going to go through some of these right now and give you some of the reasons why I think uh, the course, you know, kind of ranks all across the spectrum in different areas. As far as the goals and objectives go, I think that the course lays it out, you know, pretty standardly. There are learning outcomes here, and each of these learning outcomes maps nicely onto one of the cognitive functions laid out in Bloom's Taxonomy. So if you think that's good, then you probably think these learning outcomes are fine. So I think that the course ranks as exemplary or accomplished in terms of how its goals and objectives are laid out. As far as the content presentation goes, I think that it'd probably get accomplished because the content is chunked, but it's a little inconsistently chunked because there are different numbers of subunits. Also, you might have heard my dog Rose barking in the background. I don't know what that's about, but let's move on. Uh, as I was saying, there are a different number of subunits, so I'm not sure why it's done so unevenly. What I'm what I'm trying to point out here is that there are three subunits under unit four, and then there are eight subunits under unit five. So there are chunks, but it's a little inconsistent. As far as the learner engagement goes, I think that it's probably promising or accomplished. Again, this depends on the student. So if we look at something like this, guidance is provided but could be improved with greater detail or depth. Well, a student who needs a lot of guidance doesn't see any if they look at this course because there isn't a ton. Let's just go into a discussion board to show you what I mean. Let's go to the unit three discussion. This is the extent of the instructions. Post and respond to the following topics on the course discussion board and respond to other students' posts. Uh, we don't know how many students that we should respond to if we're taking this course, so it's a little unclear. Um, and I wouldn't blame you know, my students if I set out these instructions for not knowing what to do. So that's a little bit problematic. Uh, if we go down to technology use, I actually think that maybe Sailor is just a little bit of a problematic uh, LMS. And I say that because it doesn't seem like there are technologies in Sailor that can be used. So what it ends up looking like to get through a unit is you have these things you can click on and it takes you to external sources. So you can go watch a video or you can go read a Wikipedia article or something. Um, but I'm not sure what other, you know, LMSs are like such that maybe other LMSs actually have technologies built in to make the class more engaging, but I found this class to be rather, uh, I don't know, boring. The next thing, uh, let's go back here. So we did technology use. The second area of evaluation is interaction and collaboration. So we've got... I guess three, three main areas here, communication strategies, development of learning community, and interaction logistics. 
I ranked this course incomplete in all of those areas because I thought that the course did nothing to set up a community among the students. The communication strategies are kind of non-existent. Uh, it doesn't seem like you get instructor feedback or interaction with an instructor because there is no instructor of this course. So when you go back to this course introduction, there's no one to contact if you're if you're having a problem. Um, and that that's worrisome, especially again for the students who might need feedback or need the guidance. So I'm not sure if this is just typical of Sailor, but it seems like this is really good for students who want to learn something and do it on their own time and can do this sort of thing on their own time, but not so great for the students who, who need someone who can set up a learning community and kind of guide interaction in the whole class. Now, as far as assessment goes, um, what I, I had I had differing thoughts based on these different things. So expectations, assessment design, self-assessment. You know, I thought the expectations were lined out pretty clearly, but then I thought that the assessments didn't actually capture what the expectations were. So again, if we go back down here, these learning outcomes, we have things like analyze and identify and discuss, you know. Those are uh the things that are kind of higher up there on Bloom's taxonomy as far as like synthesizing information, being able to do something with what you've learned. Uh, but the assessments are are basically multiple choice or really superficial assessments. So I took a glance at the final exam and it's 50 multiple choice questions. And I just have a hard time believing that learning outcomes could detail that they want, you know, students to learn how to analyze, but then the final exam of the course has no analysis at all. It's just memory. So I thought that was a little bit problematic. So it's really nice that students have a lot of agency for this course, but the lack of guidance, I think, could be problematic. Now, uh, the next area of evaluation is learner support. Uh, there is an orientation to use the LMS, but again, not a lot of guidance for an orientation to the course and how to get through it. Um, there, I kind of felt like supportive software and plugins was not applicable here. And the instructor role and information was totally incomplete, if not worse, because there's no instructor role and there's no information based on how to get in touch with somebody if you need help. Um, again, same for the course institutional policies and support. There's really no policies to guide you or to, to make you feel like you know what you're doing as a student. Um, technical accessibility issues, I mean, in some ways, all you're doing is reading things. So, you know, if we click on a unit here, uh, let's see, is 5.3 a good one for this? Sure, let's go read this. So, Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics. Uh, this is just the document of the Nicomachean Ethics. So, you're basically just reading stuff. That's you know, that's fine. That's very much like a face-to-face -face class, but um, it's not great as far as like tech accessibility um, because as far as I could tell, my evaluation of Sailor is that it wouldn't be great for students with learning disabilities. That gets us into the next area uh, because there's not a lot of support and guidance in place, but it also doesn't seem to be an LMS that takes into consideration uh, people who have visual or hearing impairments. So unless that person has software on their computer that does, uh, you know, read documents for them, Sailor is not able to do it. Now, the final thing is that the feedback, well, there is none. So uh, I would say incomplete or worse, because again, you aren't getting feedback on your assessments and you only get an official, you know, grade based on the kind of multiple choice questions that you that you do in those assessments. So you're not getting a ton of feedback about whether you've learned how to assess and analyze and explain, you know, in deep detail. So the Blackboard exemplary course that I that I compared this to was the globalization and world politics course. And I thought that this one was really nice. Um, I loved the way that this instructor set up you know, class interaction and community, I thought that was amazing. There were clearer discussion guidelines. There were clearer instructions on activities. The activities were more sophisticated. There are rubrics. 
for how to do research papers and the instructor has to approve topics. So I thought this was a great class. Um, would I use anything from this class, this Sailor Phil 103 class? Definitely not. Um, I mean, I think that I would use part of it only insofar as in a philosophy class, we tend to use classical texts quite a lot. But other than that, I actually thought it was not a great way of designing a course for philosophy. So in some ways, I think there are lots of subjects where memorization is key. And some things in philosophy are like that too. But if you really want to get students to analyze, I think that you would have to do way more than give them a bunch of multiple choice questions. So I think that overall, the course is promising. Uh, it might be better for students who are self-starters, but it doesn't seem to be flexible and it doesn't seem to accommodate different learning styles. So overall, I would not use this class to model my own class after. Thanks.